Murphy sit? Murphy doesn't know how to sit. That's what we're gonna go over in this video. So uh, this is basically, uh, I'm gonna show you how to teach your dog to sit, lay down, sit up, and then stand. So when I do this, I wanna have a high value training treat. You can see he's very interested. I'm keep, whenever you're using a treat, you wanna keep it within an inch of the dog's nose. If I go like this, that's, that disengages, he'll stop following. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go and arc over his head. Now, may, see his feet are here. When we were doing this video above, I, well, not the video above, but when I was trying to do this Bailey, his feet were at an angle like that. And you'll never do, rock a dog back. So you have to have the dog's feet underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over his head. I'm not pushing. Sit. As soon as he sits, I pop the treat in his mouth and I say the word sit and nothing else. That's almost too big a treat. You don't want him to chew that many times. So I'm gonna cut this one in half as a quarter. Now I'm gonna go down vertically. I'm just waiting for him. I'm pulling it away from him, or I can push it towards him. Oh, if he gets up, then the treat goes away. So we put him back into a sit, and go straight down. So see how he wasn't going there, so I re-engage by going down to his nose. There you go, I'm getting a lean down, lean down. Give me one paw, just give me one paw, buddy. Now sometimes I'll pay a dog for a step along the way. So what I'd like is one of his paws to move forward, and I will pop this treat in his mouth and be up, but as soon as he sits, or gets out of the sit, it, the treat goes away completely. So I want to keep him engaged. I'm trying to lure him into an a D O W N because I don't know why I'm spelling it because he doesn't know how to do it anyways. Sit. There we go. There we go. Now that wasn't what I wanted, but he put one of his paws forward. That's the first thing he has to do when he's gonna come forward. So now I'm gonna do the same thing. That worked for me before, maybe I'll try that again. Now you got another treat. We're gonna get you down in about three or four treats probably. There we go. Crash is the word I like to use. You can use any word you want, try to use a fun word. So the treat goes in the mouth, and he hears the command word after. So now he, while he's in a down position, then I'm going to touch his nose with the, with the treat, and I'm going to go back up to achieve an, and I'm going to call this an up, not a, not a sit. Dogs get confused when one word has multiple meanings. Hey, buddy. It's great treats. Nope, they're not down there. Up, they're up here. You're a lazy one. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Up. Now to do a stand, I'm gonna wait for him to finish chewing. I'll hold my hand out and I'm just gonna go away. Stand. When he goes to all fours, I pull. I start pulling my hand away. As soon as he gets up on all fours, I let him lick off the treat and say stand. Now we're going through a rotation. We'll see if we can get all of them together. Now I'm not telling him SIT. He's gotta do this probably 20 to 50 times. Sit. I'm only saying the command on the reward stage. When he knew it, I would say sit as a command. And when he sits, then I would give him a reward and say sit again during the rewards stage. I almost got the hiccups right there. Let's see if we can get another down from there. Oh. So he seems to do better when you have an open hand. I usually like to hold it like this, but he does better when it's like this for the down. Oh. So again, I'm trying to stay within an inch of his nose. Now part of the other reason is these dogs are free fed, which I talked to the guardian about uh, going to structured feeding and no more people food and they're getting a lot of really good people food because they're so stubborn about eating, well, that makes it worse. Crash. So again, see how he's interested? Can I keep him with an inch of him? Come on, buddy. Puppy, puppy, puppy. It's like, I'm small, but I'm not a puppy. I'm almost a year. He's over a year. You're over a year, so you should know how to sit already by now. He was waiting for somebody to do his homework because that's kind of, the guardian loves him a lot. She's trying to show love by doing those things, but we really kind of handicap him. Up. So up is healthy, helpful in case, you know, you're somewhere and you need to get the dog to get up. It's just nice to have these things. A lot of times when we have little dogs, especially, we manipulate, we do everything for them, but that's not really an ideal way to go about it. All right, so these are, uh, this is how you can teach your dog to sit, uh, lay down, sit up, and stand on command.